Hey everybody, Christy Titus here, and I want to thank you for joining me for my latest episode of Pursue the Wild, Tips from the Wild. And we all want to be the best shooter possible. When it comes to downrange accuracy, one of the most important factors is natural point of aim. Now, natural point of aim is often talked about when it comes to rifle shooting, but it's equally as important with archery. What I mean by natural point of aim is where the reticle within your rifle scope or the pin within your sight naturally wants to go on a target. When we get on target and we go to break the best shot possible, if we use muscular tension to drive our sight picture either up or down or left or right, we're going to have diminished downrange accuracy because your sight picture is always going to return to that natural place. Instead of using muscular tension to drive your sight picture into place on your target, instead move your entire body position and you'll extract the most downrange accuracy possible. When it comes to testing your natural point of aim on your target with your rifle, it's really, really simple. First, build your shooting position and get your crosshairs where you want them on the target. Now I want you to close your eyes and go through a breath cycle. At the bottom of that breath cycle, at what we call your natural respiratory pause, I want you to open your eyes. If your crosshairs are not on your intended target, then you need to adjust your body position either left or right, or use your rear support to move the buttstock of your rifle up or down to establish natural point of aim. Go ahead and repeat that process until you have natural point of aim on your target after you go through that breath cycle and open your eyes. With the bow, you're going to go through the same process. So imagine being at like a 3D tournament where you draw your bow and you're shooting one target. And instead of just twisting your waist at the torso, either left or right, making that adjustment with your feet so that you ensure that you are naturally on your intended target. When you first start paying attention to what your natural point of aim is, especially with a rifle, it may seem like it takes a lot of time or you're wasting a lot of time, but I promise you, you'll have a lot more downrange accuracy if you have natural point of aim. And as you become repetitious in applying this fundamental, it will become unconscious competence. And it'll be something that you do very quickly before you break every shot in any position, and you're gonna become a better marksman for it. Thank you guys for joining me for my latest episode of Pursue the Wild Tips from the Wild, and I hope this edition about natural point of aim helps you become a better marksman.